YouTube ads and YouTube shorts ads. This is something that is not typical in a Google ad account and I can see it still underutilized in the e-commerce community. But today in this video, I will talk about this channel that you can use successfully in e-commerce. We can definitely see that those brands who are already successful when it comes to education and meta ads and VSLs, they actually can crush using YouTube as well. You can use your best performing video creatives on the YouTube platform. However, we can see that there is a technical gap between TikTok meta versus Google and YouTube. So many people, many brands, they just don't know how to get started and also it takes time to figure this out so today I will talk about this this video is from my free Google ad mini course that I posted earlier here on YouTube and uh, if you want to learn about how to set up the creatives how to get ideas how to steal them from TikTok and how to use different uh, technical setups to make it successful for your brand then stick to the end of this video so the main types of YouTube ads are skippable in stream ads you can see many of these typically when you start watching a YouTube video and these are longer sometimes they start playing in the YouTube video when you are watching it and then non skippable in stream ads so these are those that you just cannot skip these are usually much shorter 10 seconds for example and then in feed video ads um, bumper ads and all of those but actually what is probably most relevant for e-commerce stores is actually YouTube shorts ads and that's the one that we will focus on now. So when it comes to these shorts, you want to keep in mind that this is probably the least technical setup and uh, you can, you know, change many things, many different kinds of settings. But why I'm saying this because 95% of your success will depend on your creative, less about the targeting, less about the bidding, the technical setup, all of that. So this is really about the creative, having good videos and uh, basically you want to focus on that and uh, when you want to come up with ideas actually TikTok is ahead of uh of Google Ads. So you can go to ads.tiktok.com and you go to products, you go to creative and basically you just want to see what's been trending recently. So you can uh, go here and you pick your region, let's say Australia and you pick your industry, let's say, let's say pets and uh, pet grooming, very specific niche and the objective of the campaign is conversions, product sales and last uh, seven days, let's say. Okay, so once you have your ideas, then uh, you can get started with the creation. And now I don't want to get into the creation process. Most likely you will need a video editor, you will need product shooting, or you can use your already existing videos and you edit them a different way. It's a whole science in itself and our team is already working on that. So yeah, but here are a few characteristics you want to shoot for. So make it look like an organic content. So the best ads are those when people, they actually believe that this is not an ad, especially for shorts when they just swipe. So you just make them believe that this is just a short, you know, it's just another short which is trending. So that's what you want to achieve, that perception. Uh, use walkthrough audio to showcase the product. I think nowadays these AI voices are very popular. You can use real human voice as well. Uh, add short text overlay summarizing key points. I think in this example I want to or even the other ones we can see uh you know, uh, subtitles. So yeah, you summarize the key points with that and uh, include a call to action or limited time offer to create a sense of urgency. So you wanna put this to the end. And on the flip side, you don't want to uh, video sound or you don't want to make the video sound or look like a traditional ad and uh, reference TikTok over Instagram Reels unless your Reels mimic TikTok style. TikTok is actually a better platform to use and get ideas for YouTube Shorts than, uh, than Instagram Reels. So now let's set up our for first sh YouTube Shorts ad in, uh, in the Google Ad account. So before we jump into it, you wanna go to your goals and actually you wanna go to your uh, purchase and we will edit this. So now uh, click through conversion window is 30 days, engage view conversion window is three days, we view through conversion window is only one day. So we want to change these two to one week. 
So basically then we will see more data about, uh, about people uh, who engage with our video. So I will change it to one week and uh, save it and you go back. So this is done and you want to do the same. So this was purchase. You want to do the same for add to cart event and begin checkout tracking as well. So you can pick sales and uh, that's one option but I usually roll with uh, you know any no guidance and then I click video and here there are different goals that you can pick for your YouTube ad so video views uh, here you want to get as many views as possible and engagement and uh, I would say it's more top of the funnel same for target frequency so you want to show up as many times as possible and then non skippable reach uh, 15 second non skippable in stream ad so I would say these are more for branding what is the most important for us is efficient reach so get you get quality traffic to your site or drive conversions which is the most bottom of the funnel here so I will go with drive conversions now and the goal is purchases okay so I will click continue so here obviously you want to go with a uh, recognizable name for your uh, for your campaign and then here you add the location so here you pick the language and obviously Google will not translate your video so each country or or each language needs to be a separate campaign and then bit strategy so actually here you can only pick maximize conversions or target CPA so you can roll with these two only um, so these are automated bidding options and as it says here uh, these other options are not available so let's say we want to go with maximize uh, conversions now and uh, here you want to add your budget so I will add 50 dollars we don't typically send, uh, set up an end date and uh, as I go forward so a couple important uh, options so networks now I can run this only on YouTube but if by any case it checks Google TV I would definitely turn this off because yeah we just don't want to run ads especially these short ads on TV people they just don't click on ads on TV right so so yeah site link I will not talk about this now so product feed this one is an interesting one so product feed um, if you want you can check this and you can add your uh, Google Merchant Center so basically your products some of your products will be shown uh, be below your reel and below your uh, video ads and in certain cases th this can increase your click-through rate but it can also be something that distracts people so you can experiment with this however once you turn this on once you check this then you cannot uncheck this anymore for the campaign and uh, the products will be shown so this is why we usually roll with uh, with uh, not checking this and once uh, you know we have enough data we can experiment with this if we want so yeah I would just leave it uh, unchecked now additional settings so here there is one thing I want to uh, control so I don't want to show my ad on TV on tablets and not even computers so by this setting we will make sure that most of the ads will be shown as uh, YouTube shorts as of now in 2024 it's not possible to tell YouTube that I want to run this ad as a, as a short so this is one of the settings how you can make sure that your ad will be shown mostly as a YouTube short so this is why it's just so important okay so as we move forward uh, I don't want to talk much about these now um, video enhancement this is in interesting so uh, YouTube or, or Google can create uh, new versions shorter versions of your video or, or vertical and square versions of your video so uh, yeah obviously vertical version is, is the shorts so yeah I would just leave it as it is now and let's see here we add the name of the ad group okay so now let's talk about uh, audience what you can add on the ad group level so let's click add an audience here you can already add pre-built audiences so you can just click this one and it's added or if you want you can add uh, and create new audiences so there are different ways of doing this I typically just go with the uh, keywords or our own data but there are other ways as well so for example demographics 
in market segments or their interest if you want you can add that but i'm not a huge fan of it i think that's a weaker targeting than using our own data so this is typically used for retargeting let's say edit uh, product to cart cart abandonment add to cart last 90 days and uh, if you want you can add exclusions so for example i want to exclude purchasers so we target cart abandoners who hasn't or haven't purchased yet. So this is an option. Or if I want, I can also create custom segments. Let's create a new segment. And uh, people with any of these interest or purchase intentions. So this is more uh, interest based, let's say. But as I said, I prefer keywords because this is how people, they search for things on Google, search terms. And uh, this is more precise, I would say. So let's say ab strengthener. Yeah, so good stomach workouts. That's something I wouldn't expect. And of course, you can always check your search term report as well and get ideas. So I will click save. So let's say search terms used for app workout. Okay, save and enter audience name. So, and regarding demographics, you can play with this, but I usually don't do it much. If you remove certain segments, it can really limit your reach. Maybe for high ticket items, I can set this to top 10% and 50% and remove unknown. But uh, yeah, again, it can limit your reach. So I usually just don't do that. Okay, let's click save and the audience is added now. The next one will be optimized targeting. So here basically, um, especially if you use own data, then uh, you can tell Google that, okay, I want to see that you find similar people based on the algorithm. And if you want to have more laser targeted approach, then uh, just uh, uncheck this. So you will reach less people. Um, however, if your target market is already very small, then it can be useful. So if you want to have laser targeted retargeting, you want to uncheck this and really just target people who you want to retarget. While if you want to broaden your audience, you can check this so people will find similar people. And it's not purely a retargeting campaign anymore. I usually start with uh, not checking this. And then here you want to create your video ads. So basically here you want to upload your, uh, <clears throat> your video uh, on YouTube first and then you share the link here. So <clears throat> one best practice is that you create a separate YouTube channel for your ads and you upload them there. And uh, I don't see everyone doing this. This is something uh, we like doing. So we, especially if the brand has an already solid organic presence on YouTube, we, we don't want to mess up the algorithm by uploading these reels that we actually use as ad videos. Also, it can mess up your analytics in YouTube. So it, so it can be a smart idea to use a separate YouTube channel for this and then um, add the video link here. Make sure that the format is correct. So again, we are uploading shorts now. And uh, once you have that, then uh, you can upload multiple uh, campaigns. So once it's done, you can click create campaign. And once you created the campaign, you will see a uh, quick summary, continue to overview. And yeah, now we are just waiting to get this uh, reviewed by Google and anytime in the future, if you want, you can go here and you can change different settings, your budget, the, you know, the schedule, the networks, um, the location, the bidding strategy, all of that. If I want to change to target CPA, then uh, I can change this at any time. So, you know, the whole nine yards can be done here and, uh, and that's how you can roll. I would say you wanna aim for minimum 20% view rate and uh, minimum 1% click rate with your short, uh, with your short ad. Hope you enjoyed and even more importantly, you learned a lot from this video. Here at Budai Media, our goal is to help at least 1,000 e-commerce businesses grow with high quality marketing because we can see too much shit out there. If you like this video, make sure that you go down, you subscribe to this channel and also hit the notification bell so you get updated of my weekly videos. We collected the top 100 email templates from the past six years and these generated tens of thousands of dollars for our clients. So go down and click the link 
and get these uh, 100 templates for free. And finally, I will drop you one more video here. Make sure that you check it out as well.